My fridge, where's my pickles? The hell? My whole life is Teresa pranking me, so it's probably her. Look at this. What the hell? I do love Hooters, though, so. It's <laughs> my view. Look at what. Teresa! My gosh. What the fuck? What are you doing? This is so weird. Alright, I'm gonna go to my room now. This is sus. Here's my room. What movie is this from? Titanic, Titanic, Titanic! Come back! Come back, Jack! Come back! Oh my god! I'll never let go! I'll never let go! What'd you get, Court? Happy Meal! Hey! I haven't had one of these since I was like five. I had one last week. Hi, I'm Selena Gomez in Corsicana, Texas. I'm about to go through some of my old Instagram photos, so GQ, I have no idea what you're about to pull from my past, but let's take a look. Um, this one, Turn Up Is Real. I was actually getting ready to perform with my best friend Taylor at the Staples Center, so I was feeling really hype. And then I put the caption as when you hear your song at the club, because I've only heard my song play at the club three times and I lost my shit, it was so fun. Gigi. So Gigi and I didn't know that we were gonna wear the same dress on New Year's, so that's basically what this photo is. We were all in Dubai for New Year's, but we got ready separately, and when we came together, we saw each other wearing basically the same dress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, this is what a normal day after a concert looks like for me. I have horrible knees when I dance. I have two ice bags on my knees, and I'm eating a burger. Not a shocker. Next one. This was in Dubai. I got to hold a real falcon. Now I look calm in the photo. I gotta be honest, I was terrified. Uh, this is me and Taylor, who are kind of the biggest losers ever, which is why we're friends. We spent 30 minutes trying to take this photo, and it was just, that's us. Courtney. Yeah. Courtney. Yes. Courtney. Yes. Courtney. Selena. A lady just crop dusted us. <laughs> I'm, zooming Hung. I'm zooming in so close. Huh? It's, it's your dream to be on Snapchat. <laughs> Hung. Hung. No. No. Ow! <laughs> You're hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> This was in Mexico. I wanted to leave LA to record my record because this was such a transitional period for me. I was figuring out what I wanted to say. I was experiencing things. The whole world was watching my story. I'm pretty sure I came up with the title of the album towards the middle of the trip when I was reading some things about my life. That's kind of my my time to kind of get me inspired, to be honest. It does get me down when people say things about me, but at the same time it motivates me because I have something to say. I think people are quick to think they know me. This was also in Mexico. The caption was meant for me to kind of express my confidence as kind of feeling a little bit of the body shaming thing when I realized that curves are actually sexy. Now I'm happy about it. I wanted to do, again, I wanted to do a really like staged, beautiful photo. I ended up laughing at myself. I'm very interactive with my fans, so a lot of the comments that I'll read are uh, very, they're very invested in my life as I am with them. So they were talking about pickles and my love for pickles. And I reassured them with a bikini photo, naturally, that my love for pickles still existed. So that's my caption. 
This is when I got my tattoo, probably the one that means the most to me. I did a concert in Dubai and a 16 year old came up to me when I was going through a rough time. She said, I just wish that you would love yourself first. I feel like you put people before yourself, which I do. A lot of my fans have actually gotten this tattoo. I love the conversation. I love telling that story. I love what it means. So yeah. Aw. This was my 23rd birthday. I spent it with four people. That would be my best friends, all my girlfriends. And that's all I wanted. This was perfect. I just wanted to be with the people that meant the most to me. I didn't make a wish. I don't believe in wishes. It's just pretty to put a candle on a cake. So this was before I was going out with my girls in my house. It was the time where everybody was posting a photo and they said, haters got me like, GQ got me like, those kind of things. It's not even that great of an outfit. I'm in jeans and a tank top. When you try to take a really cute photo, but it's so great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to take it. There's a cloud. <laughs> Hello, everybody. All right, it's back. Oh, just recording. For those who didn't get that, recording hotel transit. Hey guys, so if you Shazam my song in the next 24 hours, you can get bad liar filters, which are really cute, I'm just saying. How to deal with depression. So, oof. The, everyone's, maybe you've heard some of this stuff before, so I might be, you know, repeating things that I don't need to repeat for you, but if I could, it's like depression, <laughs> sorry if I could, depression was my life for five years straight. Depression and anxiety was the forefront of everything that I did in my life, every single thing. And, and I, and, and, and I would still do it. Like I would make myself, you know, have the courage to just keep going. Um, and, and I think that slowly but surely it just kind of happened. I'm sorry. This is really overwhelming. <laughs> I'm so crazy. I also sound weird. I hate my voice. You know when you hate your own speaking voice? It's like... What do you think? For instance... Oh wait, San Francisco. I love San Francisco. Um, what's your advice to forget someone? <sighs> well, it, you, you can't really just like forget, you know? You can't really just forget someone. It's more just, you kind of have to figure out why you're still holding on to them. Like, why are you like, why do you want to forget them? Um, and then I think that's where you start. Ask yourself that question, like, why do you want to forget them? And did they hurt you? And if they did, and it's not healthy for you to go back or to that thought, you know, it's, it, that's not good. As far as like losing someone, I mean, you never do, but Sometimes forgetting can be a bad thing. You know, sometimes you might need to be reminded of something. So whatever that question meant, um, I hope I answered it. Yeah, that's true. Someone said, I think the real question is why do you not want to forget them? I don't know if I, I don't know, but good job. Okay, I'm not quite sure what else to do, so I might be wrapping this up.